through it, mama. <laughs> and that's my oldest child. But I don't want to see nothing but success for him. And he know it. My son know that. Okay. And this ace of air, I want for everybody to be able to fly and soar and be be at, in success. But yeah, we we gotta we gotta um, you know, cause I wasn't I wasn't good. My son seen me. My son, I I used to. My son seen me doing some stuff that uh, you know, <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be doing. Okay, and so he had to deal with that. Even though I was making him uncomfortable, I didn't think that I was making him uncomfortable because all I was trying to do is make sure that things was flowing smoothly. And 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 as my father was the the biggest dope dealer in Denver, Colorado, okay, I went right down his path and chose to do what he did to try to get to the success. But I wasn't doing nothing but causing myself turmoil and pain because I wasn't. That wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. And so it brought discomfort to my life. And not only did it brought, bring discomfort to my life, it also brought discomfort to my children's life. I tell my kids all the time, if you do bad, bad's going to come to you. If you do good, you're going to have success, comfort, and you're going to be able to breathe. Okay? If my mama told me, darling... Don't you bring them boys in this house. And I chose to bring them boys in that house. And then when mama got home, I was, um, I don't know how that said. still kept recording. It stopped and then started recording again. Anyway, y'all, what I was saying was, because I'm pretty sure that cut off. To get to this success, this is probably going to be part two, I guess. I don't know how they're doing this. Success and being able to breathe again, okay? And, and, and get to this comfort because there are some things that, you know, a mother wants for their child or their children to be able to soar. Okay. Okay, y'all. And unless we change these generational curses, then we're going to continue to be in the same boat that we've been in. Okay. We're not going to be able to get to this success because we're, we're living in our, our forefathers ways. If, if I, if I did things around my son, then, you know, if that wasn't good, then my son, I'm pretty sure, is going to end up doing the same thing that I did because it's a curse that had been put up on my family, <laughs> okay? And no, ain't nobody listening now. I'm not trying to blame nobody for the curse that was put up on my life because I take full responsibility for what I do, okay? I, I take full responsibility for what I do. Now... If I give you the blueprint and I'm sitting up here telling you what you need to do in order to get to this success and this comfort, and you choose to go ahead and shoot off that missile without doing what you know you're supposed to be doing and keeping your chakras in line, okay, and you choose to make a, a, a decision that's going to lead to destruction, listen, I'm a high priest. I ain't got time for that. Okay, I don't have time to be telling you one thing about the blueprint and then you going to go cause an explosion or could cause an explosion because you your chakras ain't in line. Okay, that's why I just said to some gentleman, uh, some lady, uh, if you want the help, come get the help. If you don't want the help, please, please don't don't waste my energy. Okay, if you want to manifest and you ready and you you for real and you. You want to put your pride to the side, then come come talk to me, okay? And if you want to be the king or the queens that y'all are ready to be, let's get to it, okay? Because everybody deserves to be loved, y'all. And the only way that you're going to gain prosperity is if you do what's, what you're supposed to do and bury that bullshit that you had to go through as a child, Okay? Take it, write it down on paper. This happened to me when I, when I was a child. I got raped. This happened to me when I was a child. I need to change this in my life because I feel this type of way about this situation when my dad used to beat my mother upside the head. Listen, y'all, let me tell you. I'm going to share this story with y'all really quick. See if it will come out. I mean, see if they let it go. Okay, before, before, maybe snip it to somebody. My mom was married, right? And my, my mom's brother, my dad's brother, hit my mom over the head with a um a toolbox and it split my mama's head open from from here 
all the way back behind her ear right here okay and the meat was hanging out like that and they rushed my mama to the hospital and uh, they gave her stitches she survived my dad stuck her through the heart and almost killed my mom okay because my mom was a my mom was a visionary and my dad was living that type of life to where he wanted to make fast money and my mom was like no i'm not going with you i'm not doing that okay and 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 so but anyway to make a long story short y'all my mom was my mom went through abusive relate my mom was probably beating my dad too i don't know i i, I mean I, I didn't see all that but my mom used to tell me stories about how my, my, my dad used to beat her. And, and I, I used to see the wounds on my mama. My dad cut my mom sh from here. She, he cut the and stabbed that woman uh, from here all the way down her back and, 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 and pierced, pierced her heart. Okay. So my mom was, you know, that's something that she had to deal with. And so when, when, I, when I grew up, I said, well, you know what? I ain't going to let nobody... Uh, run over me i'd be down if he treat me like if that if if my man treat me like your man treat you mama i'm i'm not having it okay and that's why i ended up being just like my daddy being abusive to men and stuff well not was abusive to him but i mean we did get into arguments and stuff because i didn't know how to i didn't know how to handle i didn't know how to you know anyway yeah, and so unless we do that, y'all, listen, we gotta, we gotta revert. Okay, and so let me finish telling y'all the story about how good God is to us. Okay, because my uncle that hit my mom over the head with that toolbox, and he don't care about me sharing this story because he in heaven and he wants somebody to hear this story because it's a testimony for somebody. Because before my my uncle passed away. We, we had just moved here to San Antonio and he called my mom over. He said, Burn, I, I want you to come over. You bring you bring the kids over and y'all come over. I wasn't no kid, but you know, he considered us as kids. I was about I was about twenty seven. And we sat down at my uncle's table and he was just like he 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 said he said, Bernice, he said, I've been sick, you know. And um he said, uh he said, I, I, I don't know how long they gonna give me. And mom said, well, you know, she said, you know, I'm praying for you, you know. And um, they just talked to me because they, they, they hadn't seen each other in years, you know. And he wanted to talk to my mom. It was urgent. He kept calling my sister like, get, get your mom over here now. Get your mom over here now. And um, so my uncle, they sat at the table and they was talking. He told my mom, he said, he said, burn. Sorry about that, y'all. He said, Burn, I got to tell you something, and I, I want you to know that this is coming from my heart. He said, Bernice, I'm not, I'm not well, and I'm, I might be dying here soon. And he said, but I want to just let you know that I'm so sorry for hitting you in the head with that toolbox. It took that man years. I was 27 years old. It took that man years to tell my mom that. But before he passed away, he did it. So, y'all, you know, unless you release some things that you got going on with yourself. Trust me, if my uncle needed to do it, okay, in order to save himself from going to that fiery flame. Y'all got to forgive y'all self, people around you, heal things that's going on inside of you. 
Because if you don't, you're going to continue to go through the fire. And that's all I got for y'all. Have a good day.